Letting Lukaku and Sanchez go in the summer, for me, was the right decision by United. Not replacing them was the mistake that we made. And now that Rashford is going to be out for a couple of months with a big double stress fracture injury in his back, United are desperate for a new striker in January. If we have any sort of intention and real desire to get into that top four this year, we need a new number 10 and a new striker in January. Hopefully that number 10 will be Bruno Fernandes, but this is United, so nothing is guaranteed. But who could that striker be? In this video, I'm going to run through a few of the options, players we've already been linked with and players that maybe we should be going after. Make sure you subscribe down below if you're new to United People's TV. And I want to know in the comments what strikers you want to see United go after in January. But let's take a look at some of the options. The first name on the list is Edinson Cavani. He has handed in a transfer request at PSG and the 32-year-old has fallen down the pecking order so much so that he wants a move away from PSG. Now Cavani, you can look at the idea of signing him from two completely different directions. Number one, you know, he's, he's elite. He's experienced at the highest level. He almost guarantees goals. And he could be another Zlatan Ibrahimovic. You saw how much of an impact he had. Arguably, the best signing we've made post-Fergie was Ibrahimovic. But on the other hand, you see Cavani's been injured three or four times already this season. He is past his best. Would he be the sort of player that comes in and becomes another Falcao or a Di Maria? An overpaid, established, elite player that doesn't suit United? His signing would certainly be okay in the short term for a lot of people. But it wouldn't be the right move in the long term. And maybe that's what United can't look at in January. I'm a bit mixed on Cavani. My initial reaction was, hell no. I don't want United to go near Cavani. But if we left with nothing or Cavani, I think Cavani is the better option there. But what do you think about the idea of signing Cavani? Would it be more like an Ibrahimovic type signing or more like a Falcao? Let me know what you think. But he's the first option we've been looking at. Well, we've been linked with anyway. Now, if you could wave a magic wand and sign the player you wanted to sign in January, I imagine a lot of you would say Timo Werner. The 23-year-old has been scoring goals for fun with Leipzig, who are top of the Bundesliga at the moment. His stats, 20 goals and 6 assists in 18 Bundesliga appearances, 29 goals in 38 appearances for club and country. Werner is part of a very fluid, fast style of football at Leipzig, and he'd be brilliant at any elite club. And United are desperately short of strikers. But why would Leipzig sell their star man in January when they are top of the Bundesliga? I don't really think that Werner is attainable. He's available for the right price, just like any footballer is in the world. But seeing as United are haggling over five million or so with Sporting Lisbon about Bruno Fernandes, I don't think they're going to go out and break the bank to sign Werner, who will cost easily in excess of 75 million. Let me know how much you think Werner would cost. But if you're looking at a dream signing, somebody who could come in and transform our attack straight away, you'd have to go for Werner. Harlem was probably going to be that guy, but he chose Dortmund. And you can't begrudge him for making that decision, seeing as he scored a hat-trick on his debut. But Werner would be the first choice for a lot of fans. And with his goal return for Leipzig this year, you can understand exactly why. But could United get him? I don't think so. Let me know how much you think Werner will cost if United did go after him in January. Another name on the list is Moussa Dembele. The 23-year-old striker from Lyon was heavily linked with United in the summer and the links are back again now. He's got 11 goals in 17 appearances for Lyon in league on this season. And I think Dembele would actually be quite a good signing. Chelsea are also being linked with him. For someone who's only 23, he's got a ridiculous amount of football and goals already in his career. A few years at Celtic, now he's been at Lyon, came through at Fulham as well. He's very experienced for someone who is only 23. And unlike Cavani, I could see Dembele fitting into a more of a long-term plan. Whereas someone like Cavani, who's only got six months left on his deal, would seem like short-term short termism at its finest, with United desperate for a striker. But Dembele, as I said, Chelsea are interested in him. Would he be attainable? Absolutely. He would, he would probably cost even half of what Werner would cost. And maybe that would suit United more because we are cheapskates in comparison to the teams around us. Certainly making the right signings as well. 
But Dembele would be available. He'd be a very good out-and-out -out number nine. That's what he wants to do, score goals. He doesn't really get involved in the build-up play as much. It's not his style. He's just a pure out-and-out -out number nine, and we're playing maybe Martial on the left, him up front with James on the right, and maybe Fernandez coming into that number 10 position. That's a far better-looking attack than United currently have. And with Rashford out, we need a striker. Maybe Dembele is an option that United should be looking at. Now, someone I've always been impressed with when we play them, and we play them a lot, that's Wolves, and it's Raul Jimenez. I think he, at 28, is at the prime of his career. And he's always been extremely impressive. Whenever I've watched Wolves, I've always been impressed by how Jimenez plays. And he's a very different type of striker to what Rashford is, to what Martial can offer. Premier League proven. As I said, at 28, he's in his prime. And he's done it against United on more than one occasion. He's, Wolves are a very good team. But again, a bit like Timo Werner, would Wolves sell in January? That's the big question. And if they did, how much would it cost United? Far more than Dembele. Obviously more than Cavani, which would be on a loan deal or a short-term deal. Cheaper than Werner, but still very, very expensive. How much do you think Jimenez would cost? But you've got four options there that I've discussed. You've got Timo Werner. You've got Raul Jimenez. You've got Moussa Dembele. And you've got Edinson Cavani. Very different types of strikers at very different points in their career. What do you think, out of those four, who's the best option that can come into United now that's realistically could come to United in January and make the sort of difference that we need? Because with Rashford out for a couple of months, and it will be a couple of months with a double stress fracture in his back, that's a big injury. I don't think United will rush him back. And Martial was playing well. He's having a good season, but I think he'll now be forced to play out on the left. Unless Pereira plays there. I don't want to think about that, really. But United need a striker if we're serious about this top four push. If we don't sign a striker, we can basically kiss goodbye to it and pin all of our hopes on winning the Europa League, which we could do, but it's just a massive risk to take. And we can minimise that risk by bringing in a new striker. Now, this was always going to happen, really, when we let Lukaku go and Sanchez go. Greenwood's come through, and I still I thought it was... A fair decision by Solskjaer not to bring anybody in during the summer because I thought Greenwood comes through, Rashford and Martial. But with all the injuries we've had to Martial for a couple of months and now Rashford's going to be out for a couple of months, we've had bad luck. And building that on top of a thin squad has left us desperately short in January to the point where we need a striker and we need a number 10 if we're genuinely going to have any chance of getting into the top four this year. But if you were to wave a magic wand... What striker would you want to see United go after and try and sign in the next 11 days? There's not even that long left in the window. And which striker do you think is actually more attainable that could make a big difference to this United team? Let me know what you think in the comments below. But if United do go through the next 11 days without signing anybody, it's going to be a very, very painful second half of the season. Even more painful than the first half.